All right, guys, so I'm finally taking a look at the uh, Eshin Cinefun. And uh, yeah, I've had this for a little while. Um, they sent me the HD version here with the run cam instead of the 4K. I guess that one's the Cadex Loris 4K camera. So this one's like a couple grams lighter than the 4K version. Now I'm just gonna say right off the bat, if you're one of those guys that likes to race and bash these whoops and uh, just, you know, go crazy, uh, probably would recommend not getting this because, um, yeah, this can handle a few crashes, but eventually you're going to probably break the HD camera or the 4K camera on this one. The motors and the props and all that are probably going to find the frame is pretty sturdy. I'm pretty sure the camera is going to be the thing that's going to go if you're one of those guys that pushes these things really hard. So that being said, I was actually um, overall fairly surprised by this model. I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. Essentially, what you have here is the Mobula 6 HD. Instead of a 65 millimeter form factor, we have a 75 millimeter form factor with slightly bigger motors. So it's a little bit heavier. And then uh, they've actually made a big improvement in the battery. So we're having much larger 1S uh, uh, 650 milliamp hour batteries now, which will give you a five minute flight time. And we'll just, let's go quickly over what else you get in the box here. So you get your typical instructions. Um, no, Yishin, uh, actually, these are actually, these are actually made by Happy Model. And, um, get this little power adapter, USB to 1S power, um, charger, and then you have an XT30 uh, to PH 2.0 connector adapter to charge the batteries. Spare props, you get your controller board for the HD camera. So if you have the Cadex camera, you'll have the, um, corresponding Cadex controller board, Phillips head screwdriver, prop removal tool. Uh, spare screws and you get some foam padding there I guess if you want to uh, make the space for the battery a little bit more uh, secure but it was fine for me I didn't you know it doesn't really move around too much in here you have the uh, 1s crazy BX uh, version 2.2 board in here now so I I don't know if I've had experience with the 2.2 I think maybe the, all of the Ones with the Crazy BX are on 2.2 now, including the Crux 3. I think the Crux 3 I had before was probably an older version, version 2. So there's several different versions of the Crazy Board, which has basically your 5 amp 401 AC, your F4 flight controller, your built-in receiver. If you're if you're not using the you know, if you're not if you're not if you didn't get the Crossfire version, you're gonna have a built-in Free Sky or Fly Sky receiver, and your built-in video transmitter all on a single board. Just cut down the weight, and then you have your separate camera board on top of that. Uh, 1102 19,000 kV motors because it's running on 1S and I believe the uh, both versions have the same motors and props so really the only difference is the can I think the canopy is the same as well the only difference is the camera and the HD um, or the camera board that's on the different models other than that um, let's you know, show you what the weight's like so regarding the batteries you do get four of these which is kind of an, uh, kind of an impressive in terms of in terms of value uh, now in terms of getting extra of these i think uh there's going to be a link at Banggood to get more of these separately but i didn't see that at the time of the recording of this video if i do see that i'll link that down in the description so you can get more batteries if you want four is plenty and you can just charge them up between sessions so so we'll get the weight of this without the battery first and yeah 37.36 i think the uh cadex version is a couple grams more i don't have that of course and then with the uh, battery together, we're at 53.36 grams all up. So as I uh, said earlier, yeah, this one is actually kind of surprised me a little bit. I wasn't really expecting much of it. I thought the flight time would be short like it was on the Mobula 6 HD. I thought maybe a little bit more because it is very, um, a uh, slightly bigger motor. But at the same time, I thought, oh, it's going to be heavier. So probably not that much of a gain in flight time. I was expecting like three and a half minutes to four minutes at the most. And you can get five minutes pretty easily on the battery here. Now it is a bigger battery, of course. It's at 650 milliamp hours. I don't know who makes this like Alien. Ever heard of them before? I think they made the batteries. Uh, there's, there's another couple models that they've made these batteries for, I forget. But uh, I, yeah, I think it's the Mobula, the Mob Light 7 comes with this one. With, instead of the XT30, it comes with the PH2 connector. So yeah, I think the having the XT30 does help a lot with the current draw and the voltage sag. So the Voltage doesn't sag as much uh, as uh, as much as I was expecting, like it does on the Mobula 6 HD, and uh, because of that, you get a longer flight and you get a smoother throttle curve throughout the whole uh, uh, pack, uh, throughout the whole battery pack. So basically, from start to finish, you're gonna you're gonna get that initial voltage sag down to like 3.9 ish, 3.8, and it's gonna hang there for a while. 
until the very end and then uh the very end they'll drop off from like 3.4 ish and then they'll fall off pretty quickly after that after about five minutes of flight now the uh, camera angle here is adjustable so if you want to go a little faster you probably want to get a little more camera angle and then you're going to get these uh, front of these ducks out of the way uh, at the setting that I have here, the very front of these ducks are kind of showing up a little bit, and uh, it's got these it's a pretty wide angle lens. Uh, but if you want to go slower, you're going to probably want to uh, reduce that angle, especially if you're flying indoors. At this angle here, you could probably fly it indoors and outdoors, depending on the size of your space. Uh, this is pretty fast for 1S, um, because you could drive the 1102 motors. So yeah, be aware that you are going to want to probably have a bigger indoor space if you're going to be flying this indoors. Outdoors, um, it actually is able to handle a little bit of wind, no problem. You know, maybe like five miles an hour or so. Hopefully not gusting around too much. I was at, actually, the flight you're going to see at the end here at this park, it was a little, not super windy, but yeah, it was about five miles an hour wind. You can't really tell in the video. It's actually got a pretty good pigeon. Even though it's running an older version of Betaflight, it's like 357. Uh, it does say in the product specs that it's running 16.8 in terms of the uh, ESC firmware. So I suspect they're running 48 kilohertz uh, Jazz Maverick firmware on the ESC so you get a little bit better flight time. But of course, since they're running 357, there's no RPM filter. So um, but the pitch tune seems pretty good for something of this size. Um, it, obviously there's a little bit of jello because you see uh, as I'm going in and out of the shadows at this park into the sun, the jello does come out more. That's not a whole lot you can do about that really uh, because it is a whoop. Um, there's a lot of flexibility here in the frame. Um, yeah, you can probably tune it to the nth degree and try and get rid of the, 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 the minute vibrations. But I have to say that for the size and uh, the conditions and how much light there was, I thought that that amount of jello is acceptable because it's all it's fairly difficult to get rid of all the jello on something this tiny um, for these type of cameras. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you the flight footage. Let me know what you guys think of this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.